So when I was a language student, I was filling in blanks and I was conjugating verbs and I was standing in the front of the class with my flash card that said Lero Puerto, airport, Lero Puerto, airport. Um, and when I was teaching, when I began teaching, instruction was much the same way. It had moved a little bit more toward actual teaching for communication. We were using an approach called the communicative approach, which has now since evolved to become even further along the spectrum to proficiency-based. Um, so now what we're really looking for is for students to be able to communicate in the language that they study. I always say we would never allow students to take 12 years of math and then not be able to do any math. So we should have the same expectation for language students and we should teach in a way that yields those kinds of outcomes. So we look for authentic language, helping students produce and learn, acquire authentic language, use it in real world contexts. We want our resources to be authentic. We want things that are created for native speakers, by native speakers. We want to change what students do with that based on where they are in the proficiency spectrum so that they can always level up to the next proficiency level up, sub level in terms of language function and vocabulary that they're using. Um, I think that in a nuts and bolts way, that's really how teaching has changed. Um, in a more abstract way, it's really made languages alive and meaningful and brought them back into focus or brought them into focus maybe for the first time as a true 21st century skill that every student should have the opportunity to acquire and every young American needs for future success.